Hello, my name is Seppi and welcome back to the coffee break in Minecraft. Today is Sunday, May 15th, 2022. My voice might be a little bit rough today, which is because I had to talk at a very loud volume yesterday and so my voice suffered a bit. I will tell you more about this in just a second. First, I do need to feed the cat. So let's get a fresh cord. And ooh, cat, cat is excited. Cat is excited about the cord. Are you, oh yeah, cat, cat purse. Wow, cat, cat was ready. Cat really was ready for the start of this episode. We have that spider guy which likes to hang around up there. All right, that's fine. I'm not quite sure this guy will, <laughs> will drop down soon, but that's not my problem. So yeah, today I like to start the expedition to the Mesa biome to get some more colors for the salmon. But first I need to empty my inventory. So let's start with that. Let's clean the inventory, get all of the required tools. I really like to bring my my diamond pickaxe. Fortunately, I still don't have mending enchantment for it. This, this might be also an interesting thing. I'm not quite sure if I saw a village on the way to the Mesa biome. If so, I need to check out if in this mill village there are some, some villagers who like to sell me some enchantments. That would be great. Just, just need to check this. So, I like to leave the... This can be stored in a different chest. Oh, right. Hmm. I might have to repair that that pick X. Don't need the fishing rod. I do have a second crafting table. <laughs> um, clock could be good. This goes into a different box. Torches I need. All the bones and bone meal can be stored already. I guess I will get another another bone meal, but yeah, that, that's okay. So let's leave this here. And hmm, gonna this a little bit more. Put the wheat seeds into the into the composter. Repair the the pickaxe. Secure the horse in the in the storage building. I'm currently thinking: Do I really need? Do I really need the 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 diamond pickaxe? Because I think we can quickly go over to the salmon. But I think I don't even need. So, oh, nice. I don't even need so many, so many blocks. I think one stack of each color would be sufficient. Would I get this done with that iron pickaxe? Maybe. I think in, for the worst case situation, I could just bring three iron ingots that I can craft. Oh no, why, 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 just why, why, <laughs> why Enderman, why, why do you have to do this, <laughs> why do you always have to do this, can't we stop with those Enderman, can't, can't we just get rid of them, is, is this not, is there absolutely no way that we get something like, like a beacon, like some, just just one item that scares off Enderman. This would be so great. But here, um, I think I... Yeah, I don't think that I really need that diamond pick because I just need a few, few variations of brown and so on. 
to construct the head in the end. And um and we and um I think I, I had the second crafting table in here because I guess I wanted to have one here too to construct things for uh, to, to craft things for the salmon but yeah i think if i just have one stack of each color this is more than enough i don't need so many so many blocks yeah okay i, I think this is fine this is fine when i just have the the materials for crafting a new pickaxe just in case this one breaks that's good okay fine i i don't have to repair my my diamond pickaxe so yeah, let's let's start with the voice. Yesterday, a friend of mine who recently submitted her PhD thesis had some kind of a party to celebrate the end of the PhD. I think it's a little bit early because she still has to go through. I'm not even sure where this those element got got the dirt blocks uh, dirt blocks from. So I'm not even sure where to replace them. But I'm quite sure I will encounter some weird holes in the terrain where I think, oh no, Enderman again, and there I can then throw in that dirt. But yeah, um, she still has to go through the defense, so she's not free yet, but she really wanted to, to celebrate this. She had this event location from a different event still booked, couldn't get a refund, so she thought, okay, let's let's use that that event location for for some big party to, to see everybody again, as she apparently hasn't seen much of her friends over the course of the last months, years, whatever, as she was working on the on her PhD thesis. She was really, really ambitious and I always tried to convince her, hey, you, you need to take a break. Wait, I think, ooh, travel bed. I, I need to get the travel bed. Almost forgot the most important thing. This would have been uh, dramatic when I'm then on my way and oh no, it's nighttime and I don't have bed, I don't have sheep, I have nothing. So this was, this would have been bad. Okay, let's let's get the bed. Um, yeah, so she she celebrated the end of the PhD, so to say, and um, wanted to see all the friends again. So that that was cool. The only thing that really affected my voice was later on that that evening, the loud music, which was not even of good quality. I mean, the, the the location looked great, but I think the setup, just those two speakers placed at the side of the room, were not were not well placed. So this resulted in some music, but not great music. So. Um, yeah, yeah, could have been better, but I mean the the music was very loud, and when someone was talking to you and you wanted to respond, you basically had to scream, and this this really affected my voice. But uh, yeah, it was was fun evening. I made it to to leave the the event early enough so that I was not one of those those last few people, it, it's very important that you either you're committed and you have to stay to the very end because it gets awkward when there's only a, a hard group, a hardcore group left over and then you say, hey, uh, I'm, I'm leaving now. This, this is always awkward. So you either have to leave before that that hardcore group forms that want to, to stay there to the very end or you are committed and I made it to, to leave in time, so I left at 11.30 or so, so not too late. Um, but yeah, what was was late enough for me because the, the day itself was quite quite nice, lots of running. As discussed last Sunday, I found out that there's park run in my town and I really wanted to try it out, so that's what I did yesterday. And I basically followed up with my plan because Saturday is my long run day, so I really wanted to get some some kilometers in. And and man, why? Just why? 
please, please, Minecraft, please, Microsoft, Mojang, whoever is responsible of that, please give me one item, something, something that scares of Enderman, something that creates some kind of bubble around certain areas so that there are no Endermen allowed in this, this bubble. Please do this. Give me, give me this item. I need it. I need it so badly. This is so annoying. This is really annoying with those Endermen. Um, yeah, uh, so I, Saturday is my, okay, I need to get, I need to get there. Is this one map enough? Um, I think this map is enough if I just get, get once again the direction right. Okay, I need to travel that way again. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Need to travel that way and then one map is good enough. I don't have a bed here, so let's just sleep in the, in the middle of the museum. That's, that's perfect. Sleep over in the, in a museum. Very cool. Um, yeah, so Saturday long run day. Went on a 10 kilometer run before the park run. So had to make sure that I left in time that I can cover my, my track to, to get to the, um, start at 9 AM which worked out pretty well. So completed those 10 kilometers, 10 minutes before the start of the, the park run. And um, yeah, what was very cool. There were just 15 people or so. So it's not really a huge park run. I know from those videos I watched from the UK runners and so on, there are often hundreds of people and there were just 15, but still very cool. I think it would also not work out if there would be hundreds of people at this area here in the town, but but still, it, it was great. It was really lots of fun. And um, yeah, got there, did that park run. So five kilometers of park run. And then of course I had to run back home, which were, um, well, I, I did a little bit of a bigger loop. Well, not, not loop, I mean, it, it was a one way trip. No, wait, 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 horse. You need to go in there. Wait, why do I have an egg now? Um, map. I think that that's fine. Okay. So horse, you follow me. Um, so extended a little bit my, my way back home. And, uh, so it resulted in a little bit less than than four kilometers. So in total, we are like, like 18 something or so, which, which was really great. And, um, okay, I think I got everything. No, I did not get everything. I need, I need, I need one, two, three. Now I got everything. Okay, here we go. Yes, I, okay, I do have my boat. Let's do this. Let's finally travel to the to the Mesa biome to pick up some, some variations of brown and maybe other colors I, I find interesting that I can construct the salmon. This sounds good, this sounds, this sounds great. Um, yeah, f around 15 people were at the park run. Accidentally, I finished second. <laughs> so th this, this was strange, finishing my first park run in second place. If I wanted, I could have even finished first because the first one wasn't that fast either. But my, my, my goal was just for the very first park run to enjoy myself, to put in some effort, but not to really run to, to really try to, to run super fast. It was more like a, a threshold training effort or so. So nothing, nothing super fancy or so with respect to pace. Also, I had those 10 kilometers already in my legs. So th this, this was another interesting thing. So 
I already ran for 10 kilometers, then I did this 5k park run and I finished second. But this also shows that with those events, your position does not mean anything. As I mean, there, there weren't quick guys at this day. So what what does it mean to finish second when, I mean, it, it's, it says nothing, basically. But uh, what, what I really enjoyed was the fact that there were also two elderly women who just walked the distance. I mean, with parkrun, you're not required to actually run. You can also just do, do walking. And this is fantastic. This is really great. So they, they walked this distance and everybody of the runners stayed until they crossed the finish line. So we stood there, at least I stood there for over 25 minutes or so with the others, we had a little of a chat with the other runners and um yeah we, we just waited for for them to to finish that everybody finished so th this was this is really great community this was lots of fun and i think i will go there next saturday again at least i said to them that i will return i definitely like to do this because it was was a lot of fun and doing this as i said from my running i started very conservative so i wasn't pushing it from the beginning and I increased my, my speed over time. So I think the first kilometer were 430, 425. I don't know, something something of this pace. And I slowly increased the pace. So the last kilometers were around 410, 46 or something like this. Um, just for reference, when I do one day of week, which is Friday, I currently do three times 10 minutes threshold effort. And this week's Friday, I ran those 10 minutes. So each each of the, the three 10 minute sections at a pace of 404. So basically it was slower, no, no kilometer was faster than that what I normally do in my training. And with the training, I am also not all out. It's more of, hey, I this is the exact pace I need to run to, to not basically overdo it, to still have, to not, to not uh, basically go into the um, maximum effort scale, basically. So it's, it's still controlled effort. And yeah, in this case, I, I wanted to have this first park run as a controlled effort and not as my 5k pace or something like this. And th this just, yeah, it, it was it was cool. It was just, just cool. It was a fun event. And as I said, I could have also managed to get first if I really wanted to do so. Um, was also interesting because at some point I heard for quite some time some footsteps behind me and I thought hey someone will just pass me which would have been completely fine but then the footsteps suddenly stopped or were, were away and um, yeah later on I talked to to that runner and she said hey I couldn't go any faster it was really nice to just follow you but in the end I couldn't keep up with the pace so I, I just found it cool to to help maybe even someone to run at a certain pace because they just could follow me. So this was great. Also the thing I really found interesting, if I see them again, I guess I need to talk to them. There was a father with his young son and they really had a blast. I really enjoyed this and the, the son was really excited as they finished and I guess was, was happy with that. Th they improved with their time or something like that. I don't know. I, I think I, when I see them again next week, I just need to talk to them what, especially what the sun has for ideas and goals and so on. I think this could be pretty cool and could be really a great thing to inspire them a little bit more. As they, they do not look like typical runners. So like, like trained and so on. So they're, they're really the, the, those runners, park run is made for those who just just enjoy it without really having big goals or having a certain certain thing in mind or so. So th this was 
over, overall it was just just amazing and um yeah so all in all really great park run was cool had lots of fun but had also lots of running and i mean to to get this um to get to the starting point by 9 a.m and running 10 kilometers before i got up at 7 a.m and so being then later on that that event to 11:30 or so what was was enough <laughs> this was really enough also it was very nice that i mean although they they served lots of wine and lots of variations of wine they also had a just good selection of non-alcoholic beverages so most of the evening i just went for plain water because this is the best thing i i can do with with all this running and so on just just drink lots of water and so in some way it, it was even part of the recovery plan or so so that was, that was really great and um yeah and enjoy it saturday also in uh, droid friday evening this was this was a good thing to finally celebrate the end of that week um was at a burger restaurant with a friend then we got to, to my place watched some continued to watch a series we are watching together and uh, yeah it was was a was a nice and relaxing end of that week so this is cool that was really cool and uh, yeah now now the, the next week is upon, uh, is upon me and the craziness will continue right now it's so much so much craziness I I spoke about this some episodes ago that hey I, I'm really interested in maybe okay the sun is about to set so I guess I need to set up shop and why not setting shop up there I think this is a high vantage point we are not not between trees so no risk of creeper guys we have this, this great uh, great elevated position where I can just put a torch here, torch there, that there. Perfect, perfect place. Perfect place to, to have a rest. On the way to the to the Mesa biome. And yeah, I, I think the, the view from up here is, is cool. Really cool view. With all those trees. But yeah, um I was talking about hey, I, I really there was some light. Is there, is there a pool of lava or what happened there? Not that we we do have a big forest fire starting there. It would be a shame. I still see some light there. Oh no. What's going on there? Oh yes, there, there are flames. Ugh, I guess there's a lava pool and all those trees will now burn down because I'm in the vicinity of them. Oh no, that's bad. Um, to get a new PC, I finally decided to order PC the PC arrived this week I think it was was it Wednesday or Tuesday either either one of those days but I haven't even managed to unbox the new PC so I hope this afternoon I can finally unbox my new PC and plug it in for the very first time and give it a go because I'm really really looking forward to that new PC but yeah with, with all that work in the evening I always think ugh don't don't want to do this now <laughs> although it, it would really satisfy and just the thing I'm looking forward to it it's just like too much too much right now with all those things because work is just crazy and um, yeah but but this afternoon this afternoon hopefully new PC time trying out new PC yeah with that we are at the end of this episode I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you will be joining me next time so thank you so much for watching until then Ugh, that, that's concerning. Um, yeah, until then, my name is Abby. See you!